Hmm. That's suspicious. Hmm. That's weird. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. How you doing? What's up? In today's video, guys, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna be watching Cheap Skates by Australia version. So if you guys wanna watch that, definitely stay tuned. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Please ignore my damn red eyes. I have allergies. <laughs> Joseph and I have been together romantically for three years, and he just recently left. What a start. And I really want to get him back. Okay, so you guys been romantically together for three years, and then he just left? He's like walking away so sad, but he left. I love Monique, and one of the main things that keeps me away is her obsession with cheap and free things. Now we know exactly why he left her. He was like, I can't deal with this cheapness. Like, I can't. I didn't sign up for this. Cheap. Moving on. Monique Lugans earns close to $2,400 monthly, but her decision to live on only $600 of that has taken its toll on her love life. I mean, I get it. You're making $2,400. You want to have a budget of $600. Your love life could wait. We were gonna get married, but I wouldn't because she needs to have more balanced priorities. I have an obsession for free things. Cheap OCD. There's a way of being frugal, there's a way of being cheap, but when you have an OCD to free things, nope, it's not good. This is LA and everyone drives, but Monique has hardly driven because it's too expensive. Other things Monique would do to save a buck, live in an apartment without a real bed at the moment. Okay. She's doing these things to save money. She wants to challenge herself, I guess like naked in a I don't know. I need to blow air in my bed. I don't want to spend electricity on blowing up the air. How much change is it really to blow up an air mattress? Besides, it's like a workout. And the workout part I do get really good for your lungs. The fact that she won't, you know, take the step to put in real mattresses, that is one of the reasons that I um, broke up with her. She's like... <laughs> I've moved all around Los Angeles looking for a better deal. So I keep all my belongings in boxes so that at a moment's notice, I can just up and go. Yeah, I'll just keep it like that because who knows, maybe one day. All her stuff gets piled up in boxes and it gets pretty ridiculous. I check out to see if there is a cheaper place that I can live in than here. This is a great deal, but there's always something cheaper. She will be the type of girl that will move into like the middle of nowhere just to have the cheapest house. I can fit all my possessions in one car in less than 15 minutes less than 15 minutes i'm out up and go who are you running from who are you running from is she running from the fbi do we need to be concerned by the way this eye is like killing me what the hell meat is expensive and so is dairy that's why i eat raw vegetables if i could eat raw vegetables i would save so much money i don't have to cook it no energy is going into it i don't have to refrigerate most of my stuff she had me go to an orange grove to pick oranges because she wanted us to live on free oranges how cheap can i get today like if you pick oranges you sneak them out you don't pay at the farm and we eat them for like seven days straight that's seven days of savings without food seven days monique only runs her refrigerator for seven hours a week she saves 120 dollars each year most of the contents of my refrigerator are non-perishable <laughs> right now it's completely dry goods monique what the hell just because the fridge isn't on doesn't mean that it became a shoe holder a shoe closet a shoe rack it's still a fridge instead of brushing my teeth with toothpaste i use a mint plant i chew the leaves every day as part of my hygiene I'll even rub it against my gums to prevent any bleeding and take off some plaque. They sh shine up really nice. You saw the little look at the end? She was like, let me just make sure this is actually mint and not cilantro. Some people think that my behavior is over the top, but I'm going to do everything I can to win Joseph back. Monique has been my first and only girlfriend, so I'm willing to give her one more chance. Well, I'm going to accept this challenge, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to break the bank. If they could just... Then that'll be great. Joseph's first priority is a new bed that can satisfy them both. We are going to a rummage sale at one of the schools that I substitute teach at. I brought my change. <laughs> I bought my change. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff here. Quick question for you. The mattresses. Oh, that has a green exorcist vomit on it. I'm going to get that for cheap. So how much? They're $20 each. I guarantee you she's going to bargain the $20 down. I guarantee you. $20 for one mattress is just out of the question. I know it. $20 here, not going to happen. I would like to get two of them for $8 each. Two? 
All right. And then we'll get this mattress and you guys can get out of here. Monique, lady, you need to get out of here. Uh, I'm looking for some fabric. Well, we've got lots of that. Tell me flat out, how much is that originally? And you're saying it's 50% off. Right, it's 40% off. So that would be about 450. She's like, hmm. That's suspicious. Hmm. That's weird. How much would that be before the 40%? I'll do my own calculations. Well, I'm gonna need a bunch of them. 450 is gonna be a little high for what I have in my uh -huh. pocketbook. Oh boy, I know where this is going. Well, these are ones that are fairly old and I've had them for a while, so I could I could sell them to you for three dollars a piece. I think I'm gonna need about six to eight of them. She will not stop. She's like, hmm. <sighs> I think I'm going to need about six to eight of them uh, at this price. Can I get eight fabrics anywhere here for ten sixty three? And if you can't do this price, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to run. We have fabric for 40% off. Some of it's 50% off. None of that would do for her. She had to have the bargain of the century. I would give you six of these. I feel so bad for her boyfriend. He's like, what the hell am I doing here? Six is not bad for, you know, for 10, 63. That's... She's like, you want me to work on this relationship? Don't get involved when I'm bargaining right now. You're paying uh, about half what I paid for the product. So please don't give me any more. On this. this lady absolutely made nothing off of this sale. I think she was being respectful, but she was not at all. At least the guy she was with had some respect. Mm -hmm. You want things for free, you want things discounted, that's fine, but there's a limit. She was the cheapest customer I think I have ever encountered. I hope she never comes back. And the limit was reached. She hopes she never, never comes, comes back. back. I know that this cheapness it runs deep in her and it'll be a hard thing for her to overcome he's like i know being cheap is hard i know you have just an ocd to cheat but but i called earlier and your wife said that you had some spare sheets hold on let me get them for you what is that it's the sheets i hope it's not a bed bug they're free you don't have bed bugs here do you i'm grateful Joseph. Let's take the sheets. She's like, Joseph, enough. Who cares if it has bugs, pee stains, caca poo poo stains? We'll clean it with the mint leaf and call it a day. Now that she's tracked down cast off motel sheets, Monique doesn't have to spend $25 on basic linens. I think Joseph is going to love this. Will he? Get out. And our lovely mint plant that has a five cent stick of incense in it. Take breath mint. Aw, uh, thank you. I, I've never seen you do something like this. Thank you so much for that mint leaf. It means the world to me. The best thing, less than $30, everything. I think that, you know, we might have a chance together. Mm -hmm. All week. I really do hope they have a chance together. They are so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this episode of Extreme Cheapscapes, let me know down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye. Ooh.